all of this hard, disciplined effort and play and fun and work that you do in the preparation for a performance, uh, it generates a lot of mojo, a lot of adrenaline, a lot of charge. This being cranked up in this way is a good thing. It's how we deliver this extraordinary cabaret entertainment. Uh, on the other hand, we don't want to get so cranked up that we go over the top or that it becomes kind of a, a manic uh, energy. Sometimes when I do performances with a guitar, I, I tape some notes on my guitar. The audience can't see them, but I have them to refer to. I will put my set list, and I'll also put a couple notes. And so one of the notes I always put on there is, go slow, and another one is, breathe. <sighs> Doing these sessions in the studio here, this is a performance, and it's uh, easy to let that adrenaline take over to the extent where I forget to breathe, to keep breathing deeply, to keep filling myself with that source, breath of life. And when I say go slow, I've noticed when I've listened to some tapes and looked at tapes of myself in performance, everything's kind of amped up 10 or 20 percent. And I say, geez, those songs are much better when I do them at their normal pace. They're much more effective, but because of the excitement of the arena, I feel like they're going at a normal pace when I'm singing them. But then later, when I'm relaxed, maybe having a glass of wine or whatever, and reviewing my performance, I become aware that it was all a little too speedy. That's part of the excitement, but to deliver uh, the extraordinary performance to uh, live at our best, take it easy, no hurry here, Deliver that song, deliver this performance at the pace that you want. It's showtime in the spotlight and go enjoy it. Soak it up. Savor this moment. This is our peak experience. This is our, our opportunity to share with the community what we love doing.